Okay guys, this is part two of the video. We finished building our table and now we got to get some vacuum to it. So I got us a uh, Robin Air two-stage vacuum pump model 15800 8 CFM. Uh, the Tim the Toolman version, probably 10 times as much as we'll need to suck that table down. Instructions, it comes with oil. We also have a nice and large vacuum gauge for old guys like myself so I can see what it's pulling. Uh, we also have a separate controller. We're going to bypass this one. We're going to use this controller to turn the pump on and off between 22 and 29 inches of mercury. And uh, we have a check valve, uh, a filter, which you really don't need the check valve and the filter. Uh, for all applications as a whole, the pump, even that Harbor Freight 2995 or 4995 or 5990, whatever it is today, pump will do the job sucking that table down. Uh, what we want to do also, it's not just uh, do kydex forming, but also do vacuum forming. Uh, that's the reason why uh, uh, I got this Air Max tank. Uh, this is going to be our vacuum accumulator. Uh, we're going to actually suck the vacuum through there and then open up one of the valves to evacuate the, uh, the uh, kydex or the thermoforming press uh, after we've got our kydex on there and uh, then use the other valve after we close this one after we suck down the table we open up that valve to relieve the pressure uh, on the uh, on the vacuum table so we can pull it up and then of course take our holster out uh, but that's part two and uh, uh, let's start that project uh, okay first of all this is not a review on the Robin Air two-stage vacuum pump we actually bought this unit for the purposes of running uh, not only our uh, thermopress, uh, but also to do vacuum forming and various other functions that require a vacuum pump. Uh, one of the big reasons why we got the accumulator in the process. But let's get this thing fired up real quick. Uh, first thing we got to do is change out this fitting right here. And you do that by simply taking off the handle. Okay, first we're going to take off the service fitting. Actually a very nice casting. And we'll put on some thread sealant like Robin Air did. And while we have this cover off, we're just going to add some oil. Before we fire this up.
Okay, I don't see anything on the level yet. We'll do just a little bit more here. Always add a little more. That should get us running. Okay, let's cover the breather. Let's put this back together. This is what I was checking right here, this oil level indicator and uh, a vacuum pump. Uh, the oil tends to be hygroscopic and it will take on moisture, especially on humid days or in humidity. So when you're not vacuuming properly or you're not getting the vacuum that you're expecting in all likelihood, you got dirty oil. But you can watch it. Okay, she's running solid. Well, I don't know about you. I'm dying to see if this thing's going to work. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to finish up our plumbing and then we're just going to temporarily hook it up to our vacuum pump to see if it actually pulls vacuum the way it's supposed to pull vacuum. So let's get started. Oh, by the way, my apologies, the camera died earlier, battery died. So in the meantime, I put in these two valves. This is going to be our vacuum valve feed and shut off. And this is going to be our evacuation valve to allow the vacuum to escape and everything equalize underneath. And again, all I did, I just pocket hold two brackets that I screwed the valves to. So let's get this steadied up. And that should give us ample opportunity to work. I think you all can see that pretty well. So the idea is very simple. We're going to run a T and then we're going to run this to the T. Heck, let's vacuum for my 
favorite box, my Bosch box with screws and uh, screwdrivers and drill bits. All right, here we go. Maybe not. Boy, <laughs> doesn't get any better than that. Will you look at that? Oh, well, there's the proof in the pudding. Let me get a close up. It's actually crushing the box. All right. Let's close. Let's release. And that's what was in here. Awesome. <laughs> Let's try this again. I'm tickled pink. Close this. And that's without the accumulator. It's actually taking this down. Key test really is.